How lossy are these QRP antenna couplers? Keep watching and you'll find out. This is what I'll do. I'll firstly measure the FT817's RF power output on this homebrew RF power meter. Then I'll set these antenna couplers up, two of them back to back, so that we've got 50 ohms going in here, an unknown impedance through here, then 50 ohms back again, and we'll measure the output on here as indicated on the meter. If the couplers are low loss, then the output power should be very similar to what we started off with, without the couplers in line. Before I do all that, I'll first of all tune up both these couplers using the same load. In this case, a 2.2K resistor. It's a little bit fatter than usual. It's got a power rating of about a watt, which will be fine for a quick tune up with a five watt transceiver. The idea is that we adjust these couplers for lowest VSWR on the resistor, then we'll connect them straight to each other and do the test. Here I've got the FT817 in FM mode, though you could easily do it in CW as well. We'll just connect a coupler to it. Apply some carrier. And you can't see on the display. Here we are, we've just adjusted the VSWR down to 1 to 1. Yet yeah, resistor is getting a bit hot to the touch, so don't do it for too long. Here's the power meter showing a bit over 5 watts with no couplers connected. Just connecting two pieces of wire, equal length, fairly short between the couplers. Antenna to antenna, earth to earth. Apply some power. We'll just twiddle the adjustments on the coupler a bit more. And we're up to a bit under four watts. That's with two couplers in line. Let's call it 3.5 watts. What did we find? With two couplers, we were losing about one to half watts. You'd only be using one, so assuming they've both got equal loss, the loss would be 0.75 of a watt. In other words, each coupler is losing approximately one decibel of power. That's an acceptable insertion loss but you wouldn't want it to be too much more than that. This test was done on 7 MHz. Let's now try 21 MHz. We'll again tune up each coupler with the 2.2K resistor across the antenna connections.
This is 21 megahertz, again 5 watts output. It doesn't look too good, just 2 watts coming out. I've just changed the inductance on one of the couplers and it's much better, nearly 4 watts output. So pretty similar loss on 7 and 21 megahertz. I should mention that although the load departed quite a lot from 50 ohms, it was still resistive and it's possible that losses may be higher if the load is reactive. Here's a 10 picofarad capacitor that would present a highly reactive load at 21 megahertz. Because of the high reactance, and I've only got three inductor positions on this coupler, I'm not able to get a very good VSWR. Still, we will do the experiment, measure the power nevertheless. Lossier than before, around two and a half watts. Again, I'll try a different inductance setting, and it's higher. It's around 4 watts. If you want a diagram, this is what I did. The HF transceiver set to CW or FM, 50 ohm out to the first L match, then the antenna and earth connections connected to the second L match back to front, then 50 ohm to the RF power meter. Just to summarize, these antenna couplers definitely do have loss. Typically around 1 dB on a range of HF frequencies. That normally isn't a concern provided losses in other parts of your antenna system are kept low.